David Hockney, 82 Portraits and One Still Life, makes its nationwide premiere here at LACMA. The exhibition features recent portraits from the famed artist completed between 2013 to 2016 in his studio right here in Los Angeles. It's a group of friends and family, people who work for him, people who work in the studio, fellow artists, None of them are commissions, and everybody who was asked to sit for a portrait came up to his studio for a commitment of three days. David likes to call it a 20-hour exposure. So we all sat in the same chair on the same platform with the same curtain behind us. What we chose to wear was up to us for about six hours each day. David created these portraits. What I find amazing is looking at them now when they're all completed and hung in these galleries, they really do, they kind of dance one to the other. They're not static. Even though the conditions were quite similar, the paintings are astonishingly diverse. The project started out small with just a handful of paintings of people he knew, but then the artist had a realization. I think it was when I'd done a maybe 30 of them, I then realized, well, I'm going on quite nicely with them. I eventually did 82. Putting was fun painting. Why One Still Life? Well, on the day that he had scheduled to paint, one of the sitters had an emergency and she was unable to come but he was all set up and ready to paint. So he put some fruit on a bench and painted the fruit. Um, and she came the next week. So we always thought it was a little bit of humor to include that. As a curator, I was immensely curious and alert the whole time I was being painted. But it was exhausting um, to be subject to that intense looking. I wasn't accustomed to that. I think most people aren't accustomed to that. But I learned a huge amount about how a great artist composes a picture. Mr. Hockney works up at the studio, and I got a call saying that he wanted me to come up, and he was selecting staff and friends to paint. He did it in two or three days. I went up, and I said, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to change? And he said, what's wrong with what you're wearing? And I said, well, I don't know, it's what I wear to work. He said, then that's what you wear. It took like 45 minutes before he let me take a break. He doesn't talk to you. He smokes and he stares really intently. And it's kind of unnerving. And he doesn't care if you look good. I was honored, like everyone else here, to be painted by David Hockney. And it's just a kind of extraordinary experience. And particularly as the curator of the show in London, um, it, was, it was just a great insight into how he works. He's very keen that everyone sits in the way they want and that they wear what they want because he wanted it to be an expression of individuality. So we pitched up in our own clothes and, and sat in a, in a way that we felt comfortable. Um, and then he would start painting. It's very intense. He looks at you in such an intense way. He starts with a blank canvas, and the first thing he does is to outline the figure in charcoal. And then he starts to fill in all of the, the color. And by the third day, he's really nuancing the face and the hands and all of those details. And it's really fascinating to see it unfold. Because when he takes breaks, you can stand, take, come off the platform and, and look at it. And it's, it's pretty interesting. I, w I was fascinated by the whole process. Often, artists have been working abstractly. This is work that is extremely accessible. You don't need to read a text to understand what it is. You don't need to be an art historian or to have a whole lot of knowledge. You actually can just respond and love these paintings. David Hockney, 82 Portraits and One Still Life, will be on view until July 29th, 2018. Go to LACMA.org for more information.